Peace everyone and welcome to Earth Crowns. Today I'm going to be showing you a, a crown tutorial, a head wrap tutorial per request by I got um, a lot of questions on uh, my email regarding this um, particular style of head wrap that was seen in another video and so as a result I um, went ahead and, and now I'm creating the tutorial so that you guys can see how it was made. Uh, and so for this particular head wrap, I am going to be using two rectangular scarves. The first one is a, um, they're, they're both going to be solid colors, but they're different designs. This first one is just your regular um, uh, solid color scarf. This one's a hot pink color. And if you notice, this particular um, scarf is narrow. There are some scarves that are rectangular, um, but that are wider in size. So rectangular scarves vary in in um in the in their width and um the same with this other one this is a teal a like kind of like a shiny teal scarf and if you open it up you'll notice that it has like these beautiful little petals that kind of resemble like the fall and um and and leaves right you can or you can actually see them as birds and, and stuff like that um so this particular crown does not have a name yet just because um i'm going ahead and making this uh tutorial with um and i didn't think of making one before so i'm gonna go ahead and start the first step in this is to bring the scarf over your head right and make sure it comes on your head and basically just align it with your forehead wherever you you want it to be and also make sure that the tails are in equal length and they are so once you've noticed that the tails are of equal length and that this is in a good alignment with your forehead then you go ahead and just crisscross it in the back like this um i did not tie it so it's not tied and then i'm gonna hold on to with this tail this is that my left side tail i'm gonna hold off on this one and just hold it with my mouth while i um quickly fold this one a little bit and bring it up So I like to kind of just like do that little folding motion because it makes the um, the tail as it's coming up easier to kind of fold into the shape of your head. All right, so I'm going to hold on to this one. This one stays out, just flowing, right? And then I am going to bring the, um, the teal scarf, okay? And if you notice, this one's pretty long too and it's extremely wide. I am not going to use the see-through portion to make an effect on my head, which you can right now, but I'm not. I pre-folded it to be like this, and I'm bringing it. And um, if you notice, I'll make adjustments as I go because even though I pre-folded this, does not mean it's the width that I would like it to be. So as I go on further with the uh, making the head wrap, then I usually just make adjustments as I go. Um, so now I'm gonna, if you notice, I am placing this in a diagonal format. This is my left side, this is my right side, so it's literally coming uh, of up, right, or down, whichever way you want to see it, from the bottom left to the upper right of the head, right? And I'm gonna make sure that the tails are equal length, and they are, again, right? That just helps having tails be of equal length really just helps you frame the design of your head wrap better right so then what i do is the same thing i kind of just go like that okay and bring it in okay and i like to make adjustments at this point just um kind of having the back you know kind of pushing in through the back and so the next step really is right now that this is nice and hardy is to coil these two tails so i'm gonna go ahead and coil them right to kind of make loops and once i've coiled this i am going to bring it diagonally so you see how this is diagonally but then this is coming the opposite diagonal way Okay, and it's not too diagonal though. I'm not going all the way to the back. Um, it's like kind of like a slight diagonal that I'm doing. Okay, and then 
I am tucking it in. And I am tucking it in by already using the scarves that have gone, that have been wrapped around on the head. And it doesn't matter if some of these fringes are hanging out, okay? I kind of like that sometimes. All right, so here comes the second part, right? So now you have this coil. The second part is with this other tail, right? Just, I'm gonna make sure that it's folded in, um, is I want it to hit with this one, okay? So what I'm doing is I'm bringing it from the back, okay? And I want it to hit with this tail, okay? And I am tucking in the fringes at the bottom here. So I'm going to be making three variations, right? This is the first variation, okay? I'm going to take this out again. The second one, right, is that I'm bringing it instead from the back, right? I'm bringing it in from the front. And this is the one that you probably, you most likely saw in the tutorial, I mean, in the other video. Okay, and I basically, I'm just tucking it in here in, on the side, all right? And those are the fringes. I like to finish this off with these earrings that go perfectly with the design because they are hot pink, like the solid color scarf. Nice. And the third, the third variation, right? I move this to my left side, right? And I'm going to bring it up like this and I'm going to have it hit with where the teal coil is at right and bring it from the back to the front okay and just tucked in the fringes here the fringes is a tricky part so make sure that they are visible and that you can see them okay so there are the fringes and instead if you notice it's gonna hide a little bit what you got going on over here in terms of these coiled last butt is going to show and accentuate on this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn around again so you can see this variation. And this is one side and this is the other side. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and um, you can find Earth Crowns on Instagram, on Facebook, and you can always follow my blog. Uh, Earth Crowns is really my uh, second form of creativity. Uh, this I live this every single day, so I'm not just doing this to show it um, or I just don't come up with this. This is something that I live out every single day everything you see in this channel is real it's my life and um they're creative mediums that uh that relate to who i am and so with earth crowns the goal is i i and i usually accentuate my living with my writing and so i have two pieces that go with what earth crowns is truly about which is um about the culture and art of head wrapping and the idea of um kind of like reclaiming and bringing back also the the um the this concept of what true womanhood what true femininity is through traditional forms of dressing style as well. So um, this, there you have it. The fringes are not as long as in the video and that might have to do with that I'm not pulling them strong enough, but that's why you play with the scarf. And if you notice, there we go, see? Well, thank you so much for joining me again and peace.